This is the Dark Room Podcast presents Unsolved Cold Cases. So, yeah. This is bagong, the, this bagong is intro. Movie. So this is a, this is our new ano mini series since uh, as, we said, as we have said last episode na magkakaroon tayo ng counting change change on in sana sa topic natin topic which yun nga parang naisip namin every now and then magte-train. Papalitan natin yung topic na pinag-uusapan natin. So yun uh, today will be I mean for the next few episodes pag-uusapan natin yung mga unsolved unsolved, cold, unsolved cold, cold cases around the around, world. Mm-hmm. So di, hindi lang dito sa Uh, hindi lang sa ibang bansa, sa lahat siguro, na uh, yung mga infamous unsolved cases. Unsolved cases na hindi pa, ano? Oh, up until now, hindi wala. pa rin na, ano, wala pang... Merong mga clues, pero hmm. walang, walang... Wala may, pang masyadong... Ano, progress. Mm-hmm. Tsaka ginagawang, ano na lang, ginagawang, kata, ano, ginagawang urban legend hmm. na lang, parang gano'n. Yun na nga, tamang-tama, urban legend na nga, kumbaga, ano natin, masasabi. Lalo na yung mga ano, yung mga kagaya nitong pag-uusapan natin to na naging ano, naging very popular nga uh, sa ano, sa media, especially sa media. Mm-hmm. So sabi pa nga namin last episode, ito na yung bagong ano namin, bagong bagong uh, topic na i papa i-present sa inyo. Yes. As we said from our last episode sa last mini series namin which was ano, uh, medical, the medical murder. Kung hindi niyo pa na check, please check those episodes, guys. Those were very good episodes. Mm-hmm. You should check it out. After this or before this, you should check those out. Mm. So, yun. Ah, uh, ang pag-uusapan natin as we have mentioned niya kanina, is mga cases ng mga sikat from ano, from all around. The, the, ano, the, the world from di- different ano different timeline time settings so Uh-oh. so yun sa pag-uusapan natin is for today's episode is ano isa nga sa napaka infamous na ano na character i mean personality naging, ano siya, eh. naging, <laughs> naging parang sir, celebrity Uh-oh. siya eh tsaka ano tawag dito well uh, during those times hindi siya celebrity pero ngayon parang ginagawa na siya yung celebrity oh, ma- tsaka maraming ano maraming stories ano na nabuo sa ano sa sa na derive tungkol uh, sa kanya oh, ga- parang ganun dahil nga sa kanya so yan ang pag-uusapan natin na uh, uh, our topic for this episode is Jack the Ripper none so, other uh, none than other than Jack the Ripper. Ripper so let's go Jack the Ripper was an identified serial killer active in the largely impo- impoverished area in around the Whitechapel district in London in 1888. In both the criminal case files and contemporary journalistic, journalistic accounts, the killing was called the Whitechapel murderer and leather apron. In the mid 19th century, Britain experienced an influx of Irish immigrants who swelled uh, the population of major cities, including East End of London. From 1882, Jewish refugees fleeing pogroms, Charist Russia, and other areas of Eastern Europe immigrated into the same area. The parish of Whitechapel in London East End became increasingly crowded with the population increasing to approximately 80,000 inhabitants by 1888. Work and housing conditions worsened and a significant economic underclass developed. 45% of children born in East End died before they were 5 years old. Robbery, violence, and alcohol dependency were commonplace, and in the endemic poverty drove many women to prostitution. To survive in the daily basis. So, ito yung ano, parang, uh, which was, uh, uh, parang, parang situation, situation that time. The setting during mm-hmm. this time. So, uh, ano, napaka, ano ba to, parang Victorian era po ba? Before, Victorian, Victorian po ba before ba the industrial mm-hmm. revolution. So, medyo, ano, medyo, as na-mention nga, medyo, hindi maganda yung living conditions sa London. Uh, sa Especially uh, sa White House, Chapel. Especially sa White Chapel. Kasi parang ano na to, parang slums. Oh, doon sa kanila parang 
isan yung mga ano doon tinatapon kumbaga kumbaga dito sa parang red light mga, district uh, Ay, red, naman, parang red light na rin kasi nga red kasi nag ma, isa yung prostitution sa isa okay, sa parang uh, red light na uh, the dark oh the dark room <laughs> so mga red. ano ba tayo <laughs> mga call boy <laughs> So yeah, hindi mga ratik kami sa mga ratik po kami. In October 1888, London's Metropolitan Police Service estimated that there were 62 brothels and 1,200 women working for prostitutes in the White in Whitechapel area, with approximately 8,500 people residing in the 233 common lodging ho- houses within Whitechapel every night, with the nightly price for a single bed being four pence and the cost of the sleeping upon a uh, rope stretch across the dormitory being two pence per person so yun yun parang la- yung lodging house <laughs> yun 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 sa sa yun 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 Hindi mo alam yun. Ano yun? Yung, ano yun? Parang... Sikat na ano? Lodging yung... house dito. Oh. Parang gano'n. So, yun. Sana ako. Uh, the economic problems in Whitechapel were accompanied by a steady rise in social tensions. Between 1886 and 1889, fre- frequently demonstration led to police intervention and public unrest. Such a bloody Sunday, anti-Semitism, uh, crime, nativism, racism, social disturbance, and severe deprivation influenced public perception that Whitechapel was a notorious den for immorality. Such a perceptions were strengthened in the autumn of 1888 when the series of victims and grotesque murders attributed to Jack the Ripper received unprecedented coverage in the media. So I think, ano, parang duma- uh... Parang yung, common to sa mga ano sa mga area na in uh, taw dito na nagfi-feed yung mga ano yung mga hindi mga local oh, yung, yung mga immigrants yung mga, yung yung mga immigrants refugees ganun, yung mga refugees, parang ganun. ganun so hindi yung may iwasan may merong mga Jew, Jewish mm-hmm. refugees na galing sa Russia na pumunta mm-hmm. sa sa London mm-hmm. to ano to ano to parang lumuwas mm-hmm. ng Manila para maka siguro Maka, makatakas maka, makatakas sa mga kung ano man ang meron that time I think so, ano point, nagkaroon ng peak of ano parang sumikat yung White Chapel dahil sa murders mm, dito o oh, yun nga uh, tsaka yung ano uh, hindi lang dahil sa murder na yun I mean sa, sa series of murders na yun uh, sikat din yung White Chapel dahil sa ano sa uh, hindi siya peaceful na place kasi <laughs> dahil nga resulting dun sa mga ano sa mga hindi pagkakaunawan ng mga tao. Sa mga ano, yung may mga demonstrations. Oh, sa so so maliliit na mga bagay. Chaotic do, chaotic, chaotic yung, yung situation. So yun yung do. scene na ina, ano, uh, pinoproject ng, no, I mean, kailangan natin ma, ipa, dito, ma ipa-feel sa ipa-feel ating mga, sa mga nakikinig. Uh, kahit, I mean, ano, to, to, to address lang dun sa ano, yung mga racism, ganyan-ganyan. Which, Ano, Which para? is normal, I think, oh. sa, ano, during this time. Mm. Kahit nga sa this time, eh, di ba? Hanggang ngayon pa rin. <laughs> ngayon din, kahit ngayon din. Eh. So, so yan. Yun na yung, ano, yun na yung background. Eh. So, we'll be talking about sa crimes na, na ano, sa mga victims na naging, ano, naging, uh, na, naging biktima ni, nga ni Jack the Ripper. So, tinawag silang the canonical five. Bakit nga ta? The canonical five. <laughs> I think ano sila yung ano eh, parang most important, I think, or ka, sila lang yung sinasabing, sila talaga yung totoong mga pinili, mm-hmm. o sila talaga yung pinatay, kasi I think from ano, na, sa salin-salin, meron ng mga dinadagdag, mm-hmm. meron mga... Actually, uh, ito nga, five yung na-mention dito, but some believe that it's Marami more pang, than five. More than five, pero ito so, lang ito yung, lang yung I think... yun yung sinabi kung bakit naging yun canonical yun. five. So, yan. The canonical five na ano, victim si Jack the Ripper. Naisip ko lang yun ngayon. Naisip Tinanong mo yun sa, ka, sa akin kanina tapos hindi <laughs> ko na, nasagot kung bakit. Tapos ngayon naisip parang oo nga ano, merong, merong marami yung ano, sinabi mo, many believe na marami daw yung pinatay ni Jack the Ripper pero yung 
yung print na patunayan lang na pinatay niya itong libal lang so canon parang yung oh importante talaga yung canon kasi hindi tayo mabuhay pag walang canon, canon. oh <laughs> canon sa amin ano eh big guys rice canon parang canon canon, <laughs> canon rice so yun uh, the first victim is uh, Mary Ann Ni- Nichols the body of Mary Ann Nichols was discovered at about 3.40 a.m. on the on Friday 31, August 1888, uh, in Box Row, uh, Whitechapel area. The body was discovered by a man named Charles Cross, who claims that he was walking along Box Row when he noticed a bundle, of, uh, a bundle towards the western, western end. Another man named Rupert Paul approached the body with Cross. parang ito ano the police would eventually arrive to the scene Mary Ann Nichols was found in her back her throat was severed by two deep cuts one of which completely severed all the tissues down to the vertebrae. Her vagina had been stabbed twice, and the lower part of her abdomen were, was partially ripped open by a deep jack wound, causing her bowels to protrude. Several other incisions inflicted to both sides of her abdomen had also been caused by the same knife. Each of these wounds had been uh, inflicted in a downward trusting manner however uh, oh, sorry. she had only been dead for about half an hour when she was found paano nila nalaman ng half hour baka ano mainit init ah hindi yung ano meron, meron silang mga dog na na pinapa paano nila parang yun alam familiar <laughs> sinabi yan Oh, may nakapanood na nun. <laughs> ah, meron na ba? <laughs> Pero hindi natin alam kung hindi natin alam kung paano yung paano sila nagaano, paano nila na-adjust. Ano yung mainit pa lang? Mainit-init pa siguro. Ah, parang ano pa to bago pa lang. Yung ano, parang yung mga ulam. Yung ano, yung tulo ng dugo. O may matigas pa gano'n. Ah, bago pa lang. And I think ano. So the manner ng pagpatay is very ano. Very disturbing na. So, yung pinaglaruan yung... At saka ano, uh, parang pinapakita dito na wala siyang regards with sana sa life. Ano, pinatay niya talaga, uh, dinisimbawal yung, ano, yung, yung, yung katawan ng yung katawan. Uh, which, ano, uh, uh, tawag dito, napaka, napaka... I think namatay siya by, ano, by, by the first cut on her throat. Oh. Then... Ah yeah, uh, sa mga sa mga na, na natamu niya mga oh, dito yung mga sugat is uh, yung pinakaano talaga is yung sa neck niya until uh, umabot pa until sa nakikita na yung yung vertebrae yung spine, yung spine. Yung spine. vertebrae eh ano yun eh nasa gitna sa mga hindi na nasa gitna talaga siya na hindi naman siya sobrang gitna pero oh oh nga sa gitna siya nasa gitna siya pero hindi siya hindi siya yung madaling madaling makita ka agad. unless you ano gagamit uh, ka gagamit ka talaga napakatalim uh, na ano talim na na tool or yes. what and then speaking on ano dito sa abdomen niya hindi madali makita ka agad yung ano kasi merong mar- merong ano eh hindi kagad hindi madali ang lumabas ma- ma- kagad yung yung mga intestines mo. Kasi merong, di ba merong outer covering yan mm. before sa skin, sa muscles, sa skin. At saka hindi lang naman yan, ano, hindi lang yung skin. Like after, uh, medyo makapal na skin, after nun, may muscles pa. At saka before pa nun. So, nung, nung ano talaga, nung cavity. Or maybe, ano lang, medyo or napaka, mali. Or napakatalim lang siguro na ginagamit. Ginagamit yan. Eh, so, at saka merong ibang, in, ne, merong ibang Marami pa siyang na ano na, na Abdomen, o oh, meron siya maraming Sa vagina niya is uh, like stub Tinry niya, parang tinry niya like, yeah. Parang tinry niya lang yung pasok, pasok mo So, as ano, as the As based dun sa ano, sa nabasa natin, napaka ano, napaka Grotesque kung um, iisipin uh, 
puno ng galit. Yung ano, Sobrang puno. Yung, ano, yung manner ng pagpatay niya. So, yan. Uh, psychosis. Uh, ano, psychotic. So, yeah. yan. The next is, uh, one week later, on Saturday, uh, September 8, 1888, the body of Aunt Annie Chapman was discovered at approximately 6 a.m. near the steps of the doorway of the backyard of 29 Hanbury Street in Spitals Field. Her body was found by John Davis, an early an elderly resident in the area. As in the case of Mary Ann Nichols, her throat was severed by two dips, deep cut. Her abdomen had been uh, cut entirely open, with a section of flesh from her stomach being placed under her shoulder and the other section of the skin and flesh plus her small intestine being removed and placed under her right shoulder. Chapman's autopsy also revealed that her uterus and section of her bladder and vagina had been removed. So, parang, parang gin- nilagay yung ga- yung so, ito pa, meron pa dito. Uh, uh, isang doctor, si Dr. George Baxter Phillips proposed the idea that the killer had an anatomical knowledge by a manner in which Annie Chapman's wound has been removed. So, yun, parang doon nagkaroon, nag- nag-build up yung suspicions kung si- sino. Meron, nila, meron na silang ano, nagkaroon sila ng persons idea, of interest. Uh, sino ba yung baga. possible na ano. Yung ano ko lang dito is baka kasi may meron siyang ginawa aside sa binuks, I mean binuk, binuksan niya yung abdomen ng yung, patient ng patient ng, ng, ng victim ng, ng patient ng victim is like parang meron siyang gustong ipakita kasi baka bakit niya nilagay dito sa likod ng shoulder no ganun tapos ano, baka niya, maybe ano may, yun, may yun. symbolism siyang inaano hindi natin alam kasi ako uh, doon sa mga nakita natin is wala naman silang wala silang pattern. Uh, walang walang na mention kung ano yung ibig sabihin since hindi uh, nga siya na hold. So uh, we will never know kung ano yung ano, ano yung gusto niya i-portray. Ano kaya pinapakita niya dun? Imagine mo yung itsura. Naka-open yung um, naka-open yung abdomen. Yung throat, tapos dalawang cuts. Tapos uh, yung section of the flesh of the stomach is placed under her left shoulder. Just, um, parang inan no? Yung sinabit dito, sinabit dito, tapos ibinuksan yung ano. Uh, tapos yung ano, kinuha yung uterus. Bladder, tsaka yung... Tawag oh, dito. Uh, ginawang ano, ginawang inopen parang. Inopen talaga siya. Hmm, inopen. Yung tawag dito, ano yung tawag doon sa ano? Yung sa, sa <laughs> tabso, Turkey. Tabso. Oh, sa tabso. Oh, tabso. <laughs> Tinab siya siya. So, yeah. Total. Domino. Tabso. Hester. <laughs> Ay, basta yun yun. Oh, oh, basta. <laughs> At the inquest into Chapman's murder, Elizabeth Long described having seen Chapman standing outside. Uh, ito, parang ano, isang merong, 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 I, may merong witness. witness na nakakita. Has seen Chapman standing and outside 29 Hanbury Street at about 5 a.m. In the company of a dark-haired man wearing a brown deer stalker hat and a dark overcoat. And of a shabby gentle appearance according to the eyewitnesses the man had asked Chapman to put, uh, the question will you to which Chapman had replied yes, yes. will you yes so, yun lang yung narinig so, nila so uh, according dito sa ano sa, sa isang ano sa isang claim is maybe pwede natin i ano i, i- assume na yung dalawang victims natin is uh, maybe prostitute kasi nga uh, late na silang na, na, na nakita nakita so ano yung ginagawa nila sa During, sa area na sa area na yun maybe you know baka isa sila sa mga prostitute that time sa ano sa how good <laughs> sa area na yun yun sila yung ano sila yung sa kanilang teritory yun yun na yung ano nila area yung area so on September 27 1888 Uh, the Central News Agency received a letter from apparent killer which reads, and I quote, Dear boss, I keep on hearing the police have caught me, but they, but they won't fix me just yet. I have laughed when they look so clever and talk about being on the right track. The joke about leather apron give me real fits. I am down on a horse and I shan't quit ripping them 
till I don't get back home. Grand work the last job was. I have gave the lady no time to squeal. How can they catch me now? I love my work and I want to start again. You will soon hear of me uh, hear of me with a funny little games. I saved some of the proper red stuff in a ginger beer bottle over the last job to write with, but it went thick like blue and I can't use it. Bring red ink is fit enough to fit enough I hope. The next job I do, I shall clip the lady's ears off and send to the police officers just for jolly, wouldn't you? Keep this letter back till I do a bit of more work, then give it out straight. My knife so n- is so, sh- so nice and sharp, I want to get to work right away. If I get a chance, good luck. Yours truly, Jack the Ripper. Oh, meron, oh, P.S. Meron. P.S. Don't mind the trade, uh, the trade name. Uh, don't mind me giving the trade name. P.S. Good in, good enough to post this before I get all the red ink off my hands. Curse it. No luck yet. Uh, they said I'm a doctor now. Uh-huh. And so yeah. No, oh, meron siyang patonting. Pinotong oh, yung mga. Merong taunting. Eh, hey, wakala nyo, ma- alam nyo kung sino ako. <laughs> I think dito naggaling yun. Dito naggaling lahat ng mga... Ito yung siya yung original na kung nagtotaunt sa authorities. Sa mga authorities. Oo. Oh. Dahil, dahil dun sa mga previous na ano natin, merong, merong, ano, merong ganun ba? Oo, oh, meron. Meron. Hindi. Si, si ano? Yung si, yung other, si, ano, other infamous serial killer, si the zodiac mm. sa America mm, zodiac killer which is ano so, parang ganun actually uh, in, in influence talaga yung ano yung ibang ibang mga serial killers sa mga ganito din kay ano kay Jack the Ripper kasi siya yung OG serial OG killer OG serial killer so yun sa so, kaya siya nagkaroon ng ano uh, nagkaroon nakilala kasi nga siya din naman yung siya yung pinakauna. Hmm. Parang siya yung pinakaunang popularized. Tapos gagamitin pa dapat niya yun. According dun sa letter, gagamitin niya dapat yung blood para ano. Para, para yun yung gagamitin niya. So yun. The letter would not be released into the public until October 1, 1888. Many believe that it was fabricated by a, journal, uh, by a journalist. Regardless if it was true, it made the paper, it made to the paper and made the name stuck and the killer from the point went by now infamous moniker Jack the Ripper. So yun. Uh, dahil nga dun sa letter, kaya siya nag... I think first letter. This was one Kasi of the... Kasi nga mo pinangalanan niya yung, ano, yung sarili so, ni Jack the Ripper. So siya nagpangalan. So yun. Yun yung second na ano, second na pinatay ni, ni Jack, Jack the Ripper. Ripper. So after uh, ilang, il, ano ba to? September, so... September 30th. Yeah. Kailan ba? Eh, kailan niya pinatay siya? Pinatay niya si Chapman nung ano eh. September 8. Mm. And so, then, on September 30. And, and then, September 30, Sunday, the body of Elizabeth Stride was discovered at approximately 1 a.m. in Dutfield's yard by a man named Louis Dameshots at Burner Street. The cause of the death was simply clear-cut incision. Measuring six inches across her neck, which had severed her left carotid artery and her trachea before terminating beneath her jaw. So, ano? Hanggang dito. Sa ano? Sa, sa neck talaga yung ano? The absence of any further mutilation to her body had, has led to uncertainty as to whether Stride's murder was committed by the Reaper or whether he was interrupted during the attack. Several witnesses later informed police that they have since tried in a company of a man in or close to Burner Street on the evening of uh, September 29 and in the early hours of the uh, of September 30. But each given uh, gave different description. Some said that their, her companion was fair, others dark. Some said that he was shabbily dressed others said he was well dressed ano tawag ito ito na yung katatlo yung ka the third ano third victim the third na victim sa almost canonical almost decapitated fight. yung ano niya yung, mm-hmm. yung, yung 
but ano uh, the difference dun sa previous na mga uh, victims is wala siyang wala siyang ibang hindi siya na mutilated uh, uh, wala siya na mutilated so as for um, so, mutilated um, as for the police uh, uh naisip na lang na baka hindi to ano baka hindi to kasama dun sa ano sa mga victims ni Jack the Ripper or maybe nakita nga siya uh, or na hindi or may na close uh, parang hindi pa siya tapos hindi pa siya tapos but uy may tao eh, tapos na tapos yung carotid artery di ba yun yung nagsusupply ng yes. ng ng dugo sa ating brain okay so yun sa so, yun uh, yung facts after 45 minutes uh, after 45 minutes After the discovery of Stride's body, the body of Catherine Eddowes was found in Mitre Street, a uh, Mitre Square in the city of London, few blocks west from Elizabeth Stride's body. Her body was sever- severely mutilate- mutilated. Her throat was severed and her abdomen ripped open by a long, deep, and jack wound before her, uh, before her intestines had been placed over her right shoulder. So, parang same din sa ano? Yung ano, kay Chapman. Mm-hmm. So, maybe isa to sa, ano, sa, sa patterns na nakita ng mga authorities kung bakit gano'n. Yeah. The left kidney and the major part of her uterus had been removed and her face had been disfigured with her nose severed, her cheek slashed, and cuts measuring a quarter of an inch and a half inch respectively vertically incised through each of her eyelids. A triangular incisions, the apex of which towards Edo's eyes had also been covered upon each of her cheek and the section of her oracle and lobe of her right ear was later recovered from her clothing. The police surgeon who conducted the post-mortem upon Edo's body stated his opinion this mutilation had been taken at least five minutes to complete. So, so, so sa time na yun, ito mas same, same day. Actually, ito yung tinatawag nilang ano, the double event. Ano, yung, yung, kasi yung, dalawa yung ano. Dalawa I think yung, yung noon nang namatay si, o oh, pinatay si itong si Catherine Edo. Kasi kompleto yung ano eh. kompleto yung or maybe ano maybe tapos nakita, nakita lang nakita lang nakita siya or maybe either way no? nakita oh. siya din tapos tumakbo siya dito din sa kabila oh, or ito, maybe yun. nauna si Catherine Edo state lang siyang nakita nakita o oh. tapos um, lumipat siya kay oh, lumipat siya kay, kay or maybe Sky. ano maybe maybe the nauna the other way around kasi dapat gagawin niya same dun sa manner ng pagpatay pero since nakita niya nakita siya dun halos siya ah, baka so may, sabi niya ah nako hindi ako hindi ako kulang yung satisfied. ano kulang yung ano niya satisfaction dun sa so, punta ko dun sa kabila yun dun so possible din niya eh, tapos Either sabi way, pa nga sa meron. post-mortem eh ano 5 minutes lang so meaning kaya mabilis mabilis lang talaga I mean actually hindi naman siya ganun ka if you will think of it hindi naman ganun ka Ka, hirap kahirap yun if, especially if, kung meron ano, oh, if may, gan, may, may knowledge may intent ka, ka talaga tak, tsaka yung intent mas to kill kasi hindi, hindi ka naman magsistay doon nung matagal eh. oh. <laughs> gagano tapos gagano din mo nang gagano din so yun uh, a lo- yun continue uh, going back a local cigarette salesman named Joseph Lewen uh, Lewen 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 uh, Lewen had passed through the square with two friends friends shortly before the murder and he described seeing fair-haired men uh, of shabby appearance with a woman who have been Elizabeth uh, uh, Eddowes Catherine uh, Eddowes yes Catherine Eddowes uh, no, Eddowes Lowen's. Lowen's companion were unable to confirm his description the murder of Stride and Eddowes ultimately become known as the double event so na nilink talaga ng ano nilink talaga ng police no? ng authorities no? uh, isa lang yung killer no kasi same lang din naman eh the way the manner ng pagpatay so ay sa uh, yung neck tsaka yung ano so, mutilation yung, uh, mutilation yung isa lang is wala siyang mutilation but uh, ultimately yung nakapatay sa kanya is yun yung neck yung sa neck area a section of Edo's uh, blooded apron was found at the entrance of a tenement in Goldstone Street, Whitechapel at 2.55 a.m. 
a chalk inscription upon the wall directly above this piece of apron thread. And I quote, The Jews are done the men that will not be blamed for nothing. And, uh, unquote. A sign of anti-Semitism which, which was common in the area. However, crucial details of the clue was the fact that the evidence was found east at the Edo's murder scene in the direction to Elizabeth Stride's murder murder site. The murder that occurred just 45 minutes prior, it only shows that the murderer entered the area well swarmed by with cops. This only suggests that the killer may have lived in the east end of London area. Later, a postcard in the a postcard is received by the police department dated October 1st and written uh, by someone claiming as the reaper with a similar handwriting that reads, and I quote, I was not cutting dear old boss, uh, when I give you the tip, you'll hear about Saucy Jockey's work tomorrow's double event, this time number one squealed a little bit, uh, a bit couldn't finish straight off, had, had no time to get his ear off for the police, thanks for keeping the last letter back till I go to work again to check the reaper so, and go yun nas, na confirm natin na si yung ano well, yung now na si ano uh, yun, uh, 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 number one squealed a bit couldn't fear so I th- hindi pala si Elizabeth si Elizabeth stride yung nauna hmm. unang ano unang 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 pinatay actually after. meron pa dito eh kaya katapusin na muna natin okay, okay. it was not confirmed but there There is an information out there that this postcard was re- received by the press agency the morning after the night of the double event. On October 13th, uh, uh, ano ayun na nga, ayun na nga, ayun yung nangyari na. So, uh, na, 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 ano nga, na-prove to na siya nga yung pumatay kasi na-receive to ng late, uh, earlier pa eh. Mm-hmm. Hindi pa to na, wala pang ano, wala pang, wala pa yung mga, ano, wala pa yung mga police. na nasasabi ko sino meron Tapos, pinatay na received na kagad so bakit kaya bakit may nakaalam na ano so malaki nga yung chance na siya talaga yung pumatay tsaka yung ano description niya sa ano sa the way ng pagpatay is ano identical kung ano nga na yung nangyari nung sa ano tsaka alam niya yung ano alam niya yung about yung sa ears and so na dapat ipapadala din hindi kasi yun ano eh ayo nga pala ako yan Uh, on October 13, 1888, the police spent a week searching for every house in the East End of worst slums but found nothing. On October 16, a man named George Lusk received a letter. He is the head of the Mile End v- Vigilance Committee, a group comprised of local businessmen to assist the police. And the letter was signed uh, from hell. So, you know, I'm going Sa community, ano, community group. Parang tumulong, tutulong. Tutulong sila sa mga police. Yeah. And it was delivered in a box with a half of a human kidney. The kidney at the time was believed to be Catherine Edo's missing kidney. However, it was found to be a prank by a medical student. <laughs> Ay, ano, nakikijump in yung... <laughs> Grabe naman yung prank. <laughs> Siguro yung, yung ngayong time na to, wala, nakalaboso. Yung... Nakalaboso ka kagad eh. baka ikaw pa yung ano oh, eh ikaw gawing, pa yung gawing prime killer. suspect oh. so yun ano yung what's in the box what's in the box <laughs> pinadala dun sa police eh watch ano watch 7 <laughs> yeah on November 9 1888 ne- nearly a month after the last killing the body oh yun pang, pang apat na yun diba so, so ito na time. this is the last of the victims na Uh, on October 9, 1888, nearly a month after the last killing, the body of the fifth and final canonical victim, Mary Kelly, was pa- found at 13 Miller's Court in her own room. This murder was by far the most gruesome as her body was disemboweled and virtually skinned down. So, uh, in, ano? From that, ano pala? From that top, <laughs> make it drop. <laughs> Without the skin. <laughs> Without the skin. Her face had been hacked beyond all recognitions. Uh, with her throat severed down to the spine. So, and the uh, the abdomen almost emptied of its organ. 
Her uterus, kidneys, and one of her breasts has been placed beneath her head, and, uh, and other viscera from her body placed beside her foot. About the bed and about the bed and sections of her abdomen and thighs upon the bedside table. The heart was missing from the crime scene. And with that, we arrived at, at the end of the five canonical victims. But as stated before, some believe that there could be 11 victims of Jack the Ripper's reign of terror. As per some accounts by, this, by some eyewitnesses, the alleged appearance of Jack the Ripper could not be assumed and he could be between 25 to 35 years old, roughly 5 foot 5 to 5 foot 7. Stucky with a fair complexion and a mustache alleged he was seen wearing a dark overcoat and a dark hat. So yun. Ito na yung, Ito yung ano. description ng ano. Ito na yung ginagawang ano. Ito na yung parang... Naging, ano tawag dito? Naging trade kung ano yung insura. Insura niya. May hat, <laughs> may dark hat. Uh, may overcoat. Oo, uh, uh, tapos so, may ma- mustache. Yun na yung pagkakakilala natin. Yung mga pinoportray. Pinoportray na. Ganito ano na yung insura niya. So the last victim was ano sabi pa nga is the very ano very pinaka gruesome dun sa lahat na naging victim kasi ni ano, ano ginawang doctor in- gumawa para kang is, ng doctor an- doctor I think is ano yung ano ano yung trip niya na nilalagay yung ibang parts sa ilalim ng ulo sa ano I think parang, I think parang ano parang, yun, na over over ano lang yata siya parang saan ko ito kuno eh min pwede naman sa gilid pag tanggal uh, natanggal niya yan ano yan Ay, hindi ba dinalagay sa ano eh? Sa ulo, parang. Sa ulo, parang. Sa ulo, parang. I mean, maybe he's trying to, ano. To send a message. To send a message. Pero up until now, hindi nga na. Hindi, hindi nila. Hindi nila decrypt. Hindi nila din decrypt. <laughs> Or maybe we're just thinking too much na. Yun. Thinking, <laughs> ano, so. I think, ba- baka lang. Kasi, ano, thinking that doing this, parang ginibinibig niya niya yung ano niyo na I can do this and without mm-hmm. getting caught at, at saka ano uh, ito talaga nasa bahay na to eh unlike yung mga previous na victims niya is nasa ano lang talaga nasa, outside lang outside lang sa alleys ganun I think na, ito nasa nabigyan ba- siya ng ano proper time to do this heinous things at to, our, to this to the victim paano niya nalaman kung if same sila ng ano I'm, uh, I think meron silang commonality yung mga victims. Same silang ano, work, uh, mga prostitutes yung baga. Silang apat. I mean, silang lima. But, paano, na, paano niya nalaman na yung last victim is prostitute yung nakatira dun sa mga I think, ano lang. I think, this... Inassume niya lang. <laughs> in-assume. Hindi, parang inano lang yata niya. Sinama siya dun sa kwarto ng ba. Or ano, ni baka Ms. ano siya. Loss. Oh, me- I mean, Mary Kelly. So, may, meron tayong ano, meron, meron mga ibang ano, details. Yes. Uh, malalaman natin along the way. So, so ito na, na, after this, nagkaroon na After na, is wala nang, wala nang na, uh, recorded na pinatay yung, ano, ano na same manner na, ano, na in-associate kay, Pero, ano, hindi, kay pa rin nag, hindi pa rin nag, hindi pa rin nag So, hindi pa siya, uh, hindi, hindi pa siya nahuli. I mean, wala pa. I mean, hindi naman siya talaga mahuhuli. Hindi, hindi siya nahuli. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Pero, hindi natapos yung investigation. Ah, hindi pa natatapos. I mean, going pa kasi, uh, kahit nga yung first victim, wala pa ngayon. Wala, wala silang <laughs> wala silang idea. Eh. So, nandito na tayo sa, sa mga speculations, sa mga, sa mga, ano yung alam ng mga Tsaka, ng anong nangyaring investigation ng authorities. So, yeah. In, in 1894, Sir Melville McNaughton, Assistant Chief Constable, oh, ito na lang, favorite word mo, Constable, Constable of the Metropolitan Police Service and Head of the Criminal Investigation Department, wrote a report that stated, The Whitechapel murders had five and five victims only, and he had the suspicions who the Reaper was. He knew that the Reaper had a basic knowledge of anatomy. Probably a doctor. And in this note, he narrowed his list of suspicions down to three names. But due to the amount of compelling suspicions, some believe that their, uh, the official three names was not the uh, Reaper. We're going to... Ex- Ayan, so yun nga, not the Reaper. So, and there there are more... Uh, so, dun sa mga, sa mga nakita natin na mga, ano, na mga research material, 
which is alam niyo na yan. <laughs> so meron mga suspicions kung sino uh, kung sino. So na, na umabot nga tayo sa eight names na pag-uusapan natin dito. Starting with dun sa ta- sa tatlong ano, sa tatlong uh, suspects prime uh, sus- prime uh, sa, sa mga suspect na pinangalanan ni Magnate dun sa notes niya. So first was uh, first uh, sa ano sa mga suspect is ano, paano nga ulit pag cross to Montag Johnson Droit which was a barrister who had may have had an uncle or a cousin who were doctors Droit had an ent- ent- interest in surgery he might have lived with his cousins who was uh, practicing medicine close to where the Whitechapel murders occurred a month before the first canonical victim Mon- tama ba? Montag <laughs> She drew it na lang. She drew it na lang. <laughs> Parang mahirap mo. Mother went insane. And he also claims he he also go his he is also going insane. In in his notes, he wrote and I quote, from private information, I have little doubt that his own family suspected this man of being the Whitechapel murderer. It was alleged that he was sexually insane. And quote. So yeah. After the last victim, a droid was found dead. Oh, I touched. I touched that one. <laughs> found dead within four weeks of the last murder. Uh, his body was flo- was found float found floating in the Thames River in December 3rd, 1888. So, naging suspect siya dahil dun sa note. Merong nagsuspect siya sa kanya. Tsaka, ano eh. Hindi siya doctor so I think maghahanap siya ng ways and he was he was interested in surgery I think ano ko kaya to mapa-practice oh, na practice niya <laughs> merong merong meron talagang ano motive mm-hmm. kung bakit tsaka yun da, da ano lang na link siya is dahil na uh, maybe he's is becoming insane tsaka uh, may mga ano siya may mga kilalang maybe doctor. help him to ano nagkaroon siya ng knowledge kung paano gawin yung mga bagay-bagay and I think para baka, pero walang masyadong evidence against him yun lang oo <laughs> tsaka baka hindi siya nahuli kasi yun nga namatay siya after hmm maybe maybe yeah. the next is Michael Ostrog a Russian doctor and a criminal he was in inside of an asylum for homicide tendencies He was in the list because he couldn't prove a strong alibi for his whereabouts during the murders. Mm, I think so. Yun lang. <laughs> Dahil, uh, he's a killer. I mean, meron siyang ano, meron history siyang of ano record record. Uh, Sa kaisa siyang doctor, ano naging suspect din siya. Sa, Dahil uh, dun sa lista listahan niya ano, ni si Marichon ni Magnaton. Magnaton. So, Cheng second. Uh, naging ano lang siya, naging naging suspect kasi nga wala siyang shadow. Sa pa ko noon. Wala lang. <laughs> sa bago nung time na 'yun. Ayun. Ah, uh, uh, hindi ko lang. <laughs> the third is and the last dun sa mga prime suspect ni Magnaten is Aaron Kominski, a Polish and a Jewish resident of Whitechapel who, who also spent some time in an asylum in 1818-1889 after the last murder. He was known for his hatred towards women, particularly prostitutes. His appearance uh, matched description provide matched the description provided by the police uh, of a man in Mitre Square where the night of the double murder occurred. His name uh, recently made headlines due to that his name was featured in a book named Jack the Ripper by Russell Edwards. Russell Edwards claims that a shawl Purchased at the auction contains DNA evidence providing Kuminski is the killer. So yun, merong merong ano? Physical. Sen- I think at ano mod, parang more modern. modern uh, to na. Modern to. Pero at up until now, merong ano? Merong hmm. nag-investigate pa rin. Yes, napaka ano to, napaka sikat pa rin to. Nagkaroon nga ng term, mga ripperologists na oh. sila yung mga nagsa-study. I mean, nag- nagka- uh, nag- obsessed, uh, obsessed dun sa ano, sa mga sa crimes na nangyayari. yun yung in, I mean 
pinag-ugulan talaga nila yung, 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 yung mga nangyari to have uh, parang closure may ma-solve talaga yung things so yun uh, sana ko yun the show was uh, bought under the impression that it it reportedly was found in the murder scene of Catherine Eddowes so si Catherine Eddowes But the DNA claims uh, was debunked because of sci- the scientists may have made a clerical error of nomenclature. So, yeah. Uh, Doon nga sa nakita natin sa, ano, sa resource, sa source natin is nga. Parang yun sa DNA, uh, uh, mananarrow down dapat yung ano, yung, yung, yung isang ano ng DNA, parang yung nakita doon. Kaso, the problem was, pagkamali lang ng type, tapos nung nalaman na, na mali pala yung na, no, na, na input dun, na very common pala. Kasi yung supposedly, ma- malaki dapat yung chance na family lang, I mean, maliit lang yung chances. At, kasi parang uncommon na ano yun eh, na DNA something. Na da- uh, makikita lang sa few lang ng mga tao. Uh, but, it was, uh, ano, uh, it was, Uh, found out found na. out na nagkamali lang ng type tapos nalaman nila na ano pala napaka common yung yung, <laughs> yung DNA na yun makikita sa almost lahat anong lahat ng ano lahat ng, 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 ano, ng mga tao sa 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 uh, UK gano <laughs> so hindi hindi so wala so wala parang na ano lang din na debunk yung ano <laughs> na debunk yung yung theory na yan sayang yung ano yung pag, pagsasaliksik ni Russell Eddowes ay Edwards Brad Edwards <laughs> nagkamali lang pala nagkamali. and then dahil dahil sa ano hindi na patunayan to that nagkaroon ng maraming theories hmm. ano baka hindi baka hindi na lang nila inano dun sa family nitong iba di ba kasi may nakita na mga ano may nakita na may DNA sa so, baka may baka ano pa nila ma hanapan ng ano or maybe very common lang talaga yung DNA na yon na hindi na kayang man hindi na nila kayang ma maisi uh, i mean ma, ma- retrieve mm-hmm. dahil so, doon walang wala silang may nahanap uh, nagkaroon na ng ano mm-hmm. ng urban legends myth kaya yeah. ng etong eh, ikaapat mm, the fourth suspect is that Jack the Ripper might actually be a, fi- a female a theory that ripperologists call Jill the Ripper So, ito sa previous na natin, iba lang to. Iba lang siya. Oh, <laughs> si Jill the Ripper, si Amelia, Amelia Dyer. Dyer. Iba lang yan. So, Jill the Ripper. Uh, the idea that all of the police are on hand for a man when they could have... Next page. Been searching for a woman. Some also suggest that a midwife might have uh, the sufficient anatomical knowledge and knowledge and the blood of her, ha- of her clothes would be normal. Though it was not It should be pointed out that all of the eyewitnesses accounts points to a man. So, yun. Uh, yung iba, nag-theorize lang na baka babae na. Kaya hindi nila nahahanap kasi nga, ano, uh, iba yung iba yung hinahanap nila. They're all uh, looking for a man. Well, pwede namang babae. Yun. Isa lang siya sa mga theories na. Well, dahil nga dun sa ano naman, dahil sa mga claims ng mga nung mga no, eyewitness. eyewitnesses claims is that yung lalaki nga yung ano na uh, in contact with the contact victims, with the victims. all ano amen amen female male <laughs> persons so yeah uh, the last uh, the fifth was uh, Prince Albert Victor Christian Edward aka the Royal Conspiracy so isa ko sa kung daw mayroon pang paganon na <laughs> Prince Edward was frequent frequent in the in where the victims was found an activity that led to him contracting syphilis which drove him to insanity some also believe that the prince had a child with a local woman that queen victoria demanded that all of who knew of the child to be killed some also believe that having syphilis drove him mad and he himself committed the crime and was never discovered because royal aides assisted in covering his identity this theory does not have any substantial evidence to indicate its its credibility so, so ano, ano to, to? Napaka, ano to parang uh, 
at Suki <laughs> Suki si Suki. Prince Albert <laughs> wala mo mga iba mga, wala mo mga iba doon <laughs> parang gusto niya lang yung trail so, and yeah. then and then ano eh parang patama lang to sa royal family mm-hmm. parang sinisiraan lang yung royal family well baka uh, maybe meron naman ano? meron naman silang basis kasi nga I mean, sa kwento lang naman. Oh. Since nun, pu- pala, para, parati siyang nun doon. Uh, Might as well. Uh, lumabas nga yung suspicions na yun. Suspicions na yun. Tsaka, the thing that hindi to na-solve is maybe, ano, dahil nga din sa, dahil kay Queen Victoria, or the, ano, the, uh, pinaprotektahan nga yung, ano, yung anak niya. Yung, yung, so, yan. Ano This, to? So, kung malaman na siya talaga, eh, oh, oh. masisira yung pangalan ng ano, royal <laughs> family. Sasabihin yung the Jack, yung Jack the Ripper is wow. running through the veins the of Duke a royal. Queen. Parang major plot twist yun din sa oh. ano eh. Sa, Tsaka baka meron pang iba. Oo. Oh, Maraming parami pa nga. Well, uh, it could be. Like, hindi, natin, hindi naman natin alam eh. Those, ano, those, those claims could have the, ano, have the probability kasi hindi naman to na ano eh. hindi naman to na, na napatunayan so maybe hindi natin alam so we'll never we will nev- never know or maybe they know hindi lang natin alam now the sixth ano uh, sixth na suspect natin is Walter Sickert a famous painter in myth- a theory mainly posed by the crime novelist Patricia Cornwell Cornwell uh, devoted her time to pursuit that secret as the Reaper. She spent 2 million pounds buying 32 of his painting letters and even his writing desk. She even cut a painting in search for clues. Cornwell claims that secret was obsessed with the, the Reaper, which was true as secret even referenced the Reaper in some of his painting. Even entitling one Jack the Ripper's bedroom. Hmm? Ano, merong obsessed no, dito obsessed. sa isang painter. So, yun. Ah. Cornwell also claims one painting mi- mirrored the body position of fifth Ripper victims, Mary Kelly. She also claims that m- uh, mimics the facial wounds of the fourth victim, Catherine Eddowes. Some also claims that Secret sometimes cosplays as Jack the Ripper. The biggest piece of her case is the analysis of the forensic paper of uh, forensic paper of expert Peter Bauer. He identified three of Secret's letter and two of Jack the Ripper's, Ripper's paper containing a handmade paper run only 24 possible sheets. The, uh, the odds of both Ripper and Secret both writing letters on a batch of paper that only had 24 copies in existence is rel- relatively slim. Though it was undoubtedly compelling evidence, all Reaper's letters were unconfirmed. No, oh, dun pa rin nagkartalo sa ano. Hmm. Kasi, Kasi hindi, hindi naman, naman, hindi naman na-confirm talaga yung, ano, yung mga letters. Letters ni Chuck the Reaper, no, maybe no. mga prank lang. Dahil nagkaroon nga ng mga, ano, Pero nagkaroon if, ng mga iba-ibang stories. If nagkaroon nga, if by chance na na-confirm nga yung, ano, yung yung mga letters na yan malaki yung probability na si secret yung yung kasi nga 24 lang yung ano <laughs> yung out of out of ano out of 24 what what are the chances na na ano na dalawang tao yung may nagmamayari oh tapos <laughs> so sa bibili ngayon bibili ka ng ng papel bo, isang pad yung binili <laughs> binili tapos bakit hindi na lang nila inano chin eh, hindi naman nila malalaman yung ano Yo. I mean yung ano yung yung kung gawa yung I, mean, I mean yung ano yung paper itself na ma-analyze before na isa na, mas, kasi baka common lang sila, sa, oo galing isa lang yun. hindi pa naman ganun uh, ano yun hindi yung, pa ganun ka baka yun nga yung risk but, na hindi siya hmm. napatunayan o nga ano kasi ano, hindi, hindi like ka it? naman bibili ng pa, isa-isa ang papel lang hmm. bibili ka ng marami yan so meaning etong 24 dapat isang isang person lang yun makakabili. Oo. Oh, so, so kaya, malaki nga talaga yung chance. If you uh, for for you dito sa sa anim na, na na mention natin. Ito yung pinaka compelling pa lang yung ano, uh, yung meron ano, sir, sir, meron siyang sir, evidence sir, na substantial evidence. Doon lang nagkatalo sa ano, sa proba- credibility <laughs> uh, ng credibility mga credibility ng letter but 
dahil nga sa ano, the fact na maliit nga yung chance na dalawang tao yung nagmamayari. Malaki pa rin yung for me ito yung pinaka pinaka Wala. mataas pa yung probability. Yung sa akin sin yung number one tsaka ito. Tsaka ito. You're going ano, we'll continue. So sixth nandito na tayo sa seven. The seventh one is Joseph Barnett who lived with Mary Kelly, the final reaper victim. He previously lived around the area making him well, well versed in the area and capable of navigating back, back street. He worked as a fish porter and is believed in, to be in love with Mary Kelly, even referred to her as his wife, even though she was only his roommate. He disagreed with Kelly's, Kelly's life as a prostitute and strived to make money to keep her off the streets, even claiming that a quote, Mary never went on the street on the streets when she lived with me. End quote. Some even theorized that Barnett committed the first murder to scare Kelly off off the street. It actually worked, but when he lost his job, Kelly returned to the streets to make ends meet. It led to a fight that escalated eventually. Barnett moved out, and only ten days la- later, Mary Kelly was found dead in her apartment. He was questioned by the police for four, hour, four hours but eventually set free. Having lived there, he knows the ins and outs of the building, even how to unlock the door from outside. He was also aware of Kelly's schedule and tendencies. Details suggest in the crime scene that she was killed in her sleep, not by an outsider she invited in. Her clothes was flo- folded by the bed coating as though they had been taken off ordinary manner and called some of Barnett's friend also called Jack uh, called him Jack he and he also matches the Jack the Ripper's alleged appearance and finally the murders murders alleged stop after Mary Kelly the last canonical victim he now would have no reason to kill any anymore that 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 his lo- uh, that now that his lover who was trying to keep the streets was now dead. Hindi so ano, parang <laughs> nagkaroon na pinakamahabang ano. Nagkaroon tuloy ng ano. Medyo komple, may drama. Mm-hmm. May drama yung ano, yung So now, ito na yung pinaka ano. Yung, meron meron siya. Malaki na yung ano oh. dito, malaki na yung probability na siya. Kasi nga siya yung ano, last sa person Dana. kasama ng isa. Oh. Tsaka meron siyang ano, meron siyang motive kung bakit siya Parang yun naman talaga eh, di ba? Ikaw mo... Kasi yung iba wala naman eh. Maybe ano lang talaga. Pero ang layo naman. Pero, malayo naman masyado na ga, papatayin niyo yung ibang tao para lang hindi na magtrabaho as prostitute. Hindi na magtrabaho na lang siya. Hindi kasi ano, in love nga siya doon sa ano. Sa Saka yung nangyari doon, I think meron, meron din na lang ano. Meron din na lang si... Doon sa last fight nila. Uh, so naging last fight nila. Meron din na lang si Mary Kelly na ano. Dalawang prostitute din doon sa bahay nila. Which nga, ayaw ni ano, ayaw nga ni, 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 sino ulit ah? Ni Barnett. Ni Barnett. So yun, uh, yun yung nag-cause kung bakit sila nag-away. Until umabot sa point nga, parang nagka-physicalan pa nga ata daw, uh, nasira yung mga bubong nga. Salamin, ganun, tapos nabugbog. So, meron nabugbog. Si Mary Kelly. Uh, nag-escalate talaga yung ano, yung, yung situation. Uh, tsaka, yun nga, siguro pinalaya siya dun sa, ah, malis ka dito. Malis na siya. Ah, ano mo. So alam niya na, na hindi na mapipigilan. Maybe it could also be uh, parang crime of passion kasi nga ano. Ayo, nagkakaganyan ka. Papatayin na lang. Papatayin na lang ata. But malaki yung ano, madal, yung evidence that suggest na malaki yung chance na siya kasi nga, alam uh, the way na nakita yung the body was she was sleeping and yung yung damit niya was uh, uh, folded na ano na maganda tsaka ano uh, walang struggle na nakita and, I mean, yun, malaki yung chance na alam yung tao yung ins and out so malaki yung probability na siya yung pumatay or uh, yun well, parang may ano eh uh, luma, lumalapit tayo sa huli ano, parang mas well, marami ng mga al- evidence na naan na, na, na suggest so yun dahil doon uh, ito parang it, parang sa sa seven ito yung 
malaki yung ano, malaki yung chance na siya talaga yung may gawa. So yun, dito na tayo sa, I think this is the last. The last person. Uh, we will go to the last, ano, ano, na, na naging suspect na, na ano natin, nakita. Na, na, ito dito. Nalaman through sa mga, yes. sa mga, ang tawag dito? sources natin <laughs> possible suspect so yan um, the the last one is uh, the most uh, the most popular suspect in the site devoted to Jack the Ripper in a place for the ripperologist Ripper- work to toge- a place where the ripperologist work together to solve the crime <laughs> crime ano ano pang sariling site kasi ano pa nagano nag, nag nagre-raise nga naman ng ano ng, ng malaking tao dito ng malaking suspicion I mean malaking curiosity sa mga tao no, at, 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 hindi pa na hindi pa na maybe some also want uh, wanted to I think mga ano lang ito eh nagbahabi lang sila yeah. baka, baka lang baka siya nga yeah. baka lang ano, mahanap nila yeah. Yeah. the final suspect is James Maybrick is that also con coincide with the stoppage of the serial killer as he died one year after the killings. Maybrick was an upper-class cotton merchant and lived in an estate called Battle Creek House in Liverpool. So, medyo malayo to. Liverpool from, ano, from sa, sa uh, Whitechapel. Malayo. Parang end to end. Uh, Liverpool. It should be noted. It should be noted that all the killings were done in, on a weekend, and 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 a wealthy cotton merchant would have the ability to travel on weekends. With me, what made Maybrick such a popular suspect is that many considered the only physical evidence that linked linked him into the crime. That piece of evidence was his diary that was reportedly discovered in the floor floorboard. In his estate, the diary was signed, I quote, I give my name that all know of me. So history do tell what love can do to a gentleman born. Yours truly, Jack the Ripper. Oh. Merong, ano, Merong physical evidence. Aside lang doon siya show. Merong confession. Merong confession na nakita. Written confession. Mm-hmm. Also found in the diary was reported intimate details of the killings. No details. The diary was also tested uh, scientifically. The diary seems to be roughly matched the era of the Ripper killing. So yun, may scientific ano pa, may scientific. Chinek nila kung, Chinek pa kung kailan ano, yung ga, kailan yung kailan to nangyawa, ganun ganun. So yeah. The diary was found by Mike Mike Barrett. This begins the story to lose its footing when Barrett admitted that he fabricated the diary only to recant the statement later. So, yun. Yun lang yung naging reason kung bakit hindi ito naging... Hindi. Eh, so, ba, eh, totoo yan. Hindi yan totoo. Pero tapos, baka totoo. <laughs> tapos, totoo na naman. So, yun. Yun lang nagkaroon ng ano, parang... Hindi, hindi tuloy nagkaroon ng credibility. Uh, credibility dahil doon. Some sources have... It's... Uh, Have it falling. I'm falling into Barrett's hands via being being handed down by various generations of the family. All that aside, if the diary was in fact found under the, the floorboards of Maybrick's estate, it is a very strong possibility that he was in fact Jack the Ripper. Following the discovery, a gold pocket watch was reported as a potential Ripper evidence. The watch actually contains scratch initial in the five of the five canonical victims with the phrase yun yung yung, yung mga ano yung mga initials ng mga kinatan oh. yung lima tsaka yung phrase na I am Jack I, I think ito rin yung isang reason bakit uh, sila yung sila yung talaga ba- yung five kung, canonical uh, victims so yun I am Jack and I am also J. Maybrick oh <laughs> parang meron siyang double ano double, double personality <laughs> disorder so yun So malaki compelling yung ano yung case na to. I mean yung ano yung nagkaroon tuloy na parang Jekyll and Hyde persona siya na he is Jack the Ripper and he is he was also Jamie Brick parang ano. Sumama so, living the dog. 
the scratches was analyzed via electron microscope that also suggests the scratches were not done in modern times. Another doctor named Robert Wilde at Bristol University in Interface Analysis Center concluded that the scratches, cr scratches could have been very, very old and were cert certainly not new, but it's difficult to be precise. But even with all the evidence, only due to the fact that Maybrick's prior location to the crime is under understandable to have doubts as him as the reaper. So, malaking man. <laughs> Say, uh, from the White Chapel. <laughs> White Chapel. For over 100 years, the mystery of Jack the Ripper has con continued to fascinate, confound, and infuriate the public. Perhaps one day we might have the means to solve the crime, or perhaps this famous case will be yet another victim to time. But for now, the age-old question, who is Jack the Ripper? Who is Jack the Ripper? The case will always remain unsolved <laughs> <laughs> wala nang may makikinig dyan ito <laughs> nira sa manar na tayo eh. <laughs> <laughs> uy hala bilis lang di ba hala tapos na meron kami ano yung pages namin is almost 9 pa pages 9 pages of, and ano, it's only an one, hour kasi an nga hour. hindi tayo nag nagana sa shout out wala yun di, yung matagal yung, shout, yung shout out natin is so, ten average 10 minutes so kung idadagdag natin yung shout out natin over 1 hour and 30 minutes tops. Hmm. Yung pinakamatagal natin si ano eh. 140. Yung, yung <laughs> 147. 140 minutes yung ano, yung yung Nazi. Oo, oh, oh, yan yung pinakamatagal. Ano pong ginawa na? <laughs> Sobrang dami nun. Oh, hindi. Parang long bomb paper yun eh. <laughs> well, uh, yun na nga. Dahil nga sa ano, uh, dun sa last na nabasa natin. Hindi ko uh, uh, so Maybe we, dahil nga sa sobrang tagal na to, there will never be a chance na may, uh, ma, ma, case ma, close. Close, case close due to the fact that ano uh, uh, like wala na mga physical evidence the people already oh, died I mean, na ng paano, dalawang, ano, eh, world war tapos paano pa to masasolve and then maybe uh, the age old question will always be ano who is jack the ripper and then magkakaroon uh, magkakaroon I mean, na lang na ano eh uh, magiging ano lang talaga siya magiging part na lang siya ng history uh, meron will always tayo. fascinate uh, ano yung mga yung mga trip ng mga ganitong bagay but uh, sad to say na hindi siya I think siya... one this ano this case ano ito talaga yung magbibigay sa inyo ng interest towards hmm. so, unsolved mga, unsolved cases. na mga ko oh, oh. dahil nga dito kasi nga ito yung um, ano eh original the OG OG kaya nga napili namin to na ano, napili to na mga maging, maging first na topic natin I mean mapag-uusapan is that uh Mahirap nga ito ma-solve. <laughs> ito, tsaka, ito talaga yung pinakasikat. P popularized na, very popular na case na... I think meron pang atang anime nito eh. Jack the Ripper at a title. So, siya, siya yung dan, ano, uh, siya yung bida. Oh, parang siya yung bida. Hindi ko lang sure. Pero, pero parang ganun. But ano nga, yun nga, uh, due, to sa, due to sa, ano, sa mga, sa mga, na-popularize nga sa, sa, sa mainstream nga, sa, sa ano, sa ginagawa na lang pop, siya nga pop, eh. pop culture pop reference, culture, ano, ganun. Uh, sad to say lang na hindi na to, hindi, hindi na bigyan ng justice na, yung This ano. will never be solved. Maybe, uh, in time, pag nagkaroon ng, ano, mod, para <laughs> ano eh, mga time height, travel, ganun. <laughs> Doon lang natin malalaman. Doon lang natin malalaman. And we will never know, kasi, sa mga previous na mga ano natin, na mga na mga pinag uh, na topic natin dun sa previous na series natin is that naintindihan natin kung why and ano uh, uh, why did he pa bakit uh, natin ginawa? Uh, bakit bakit nila ginawa yung mga ano, yung mga bagay na yun? What made them ano, do those uh, horrific acts? But yun nga, isa nga sa magpapaano sa atin, magpapa kiliti sa ating mga isipan is that uh, hindi nga natin tumaan. Hindi natin, hindi natin mabibigyan ng answers. And answers. everyone has their own ano, mm. theories. Pero siya napakadami nga. Actually, ano to, parang 
uh, tawag dito, parang collaboration of uh, uh, many minds. Oh. Kasi nga, hindi to, hindi to aabot people. sa ganitong ano. Hindi to aabot sa ganitong sa ganitong ano, state of... I think we're, ano, people are very close, but they still need that one, ano, crucial mm-hmm. evidence na ano, hindi natin alam, but as of now, ano, it's just gonna be lingering in our minds mm-hmm. na who is Jack the Ripper? Who really is Jack the Ripper. So, yun. So, mga next episode natin is we will be talking more about the, those kinds of, ano, those stuffs that na, makes you wake up at uh, uh, night na that keeps you wake up at mm-hmm. night. Tsaka magiging, ano ka, magiging curious ka talaga. Ba, ano kaya? Ano ba, kaya? Ano, oh. Bakit? Ano, mga ganong bagay. So, hopefully, may enjoy nyo tong bagong series natin. Uh, well, yun. I-edit. I-comment nyo, baka meron kayong, ano, meron kayong gustong i-topic sa, i-patopic sa bagong series natin. <laughs> <laughs> i-comment nyo sa, sa so yun aside from that is, uh, maybe uh, yun nga previous uh, series natin pinopost siya natin every Thursday but now we will be posting this one every Friday, Friday. naman kasi malapit the freaky Fridays oo oh, sasali na kami uh, sa prime time prime time be the prime time ng pong podcast uh, this is the ano na bagong scheduling natin oo uh-huh. actually ano na namin to uh, sinadya No, hindi eh, na Friday. Pasensya na sa mga sa nagantay. Mga, nagantay sa mga subscriber natin diyan. Oo. We're sorry Bukas, to disappoint you. <laughs> oh, I mean, ngayon ngayong Friday na. This Friday na ba? Ng Friday na to. I mean, Friday na ngayon. Pinapakinggan niyo to. Friday na ngayon. Yo. So, yun, na, think, na, nalalaman tuloy na uh, nare-record natin yeah. day before. <laughs> so, yun. Uh, thank you for listening sa podcast natin, guys. So, puli na enjoy niyo itong bagong series natin. Uh Feel free to ayo uh, to follow us sa mga socials natin. Spotify, Spotify Apple, Apple us, Podcast, uh, Anchor, Anchor and YouTube. The usual na pinagsasabi namin. So yun, this has been the podcast everybody. We're your host, I'm Marky. I'm Ray. Da 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 da